Warning. Concentrated sulfuric acid is extremely corrosive. Always wear gloves and goggles when handling it. During the experiment, dangerous amounts of toxic sulfur oxides are produced. It should only be performed outside or in a fume hood. Hello and welcome to one of my new videos. In the previous video, I showed you the dehydrating properties of concentrated sulfuric acid. So, I showed this with paper, which is burned by the sulfuric acid. Now, I will try it with sugar. This is household normal sugar. And I will put some sulfuric acid on it. So, this is enough. Don't forget to close the bottle. Now we will see what happens when the sulfuric acid dehydrates the sugar. So we must wait a little bit. So sugar is composed from sucrose, so glucose and fructose molecules which are bonded together with the O group. Now the sulfuric acid will take all the OH groups of the sugar and leave the black carbon, like the paper or the tissue. So, but in the paper, it was a molecule of glucose with, which, is, which was bonded to a big polymer, which is cellulose. Here it's just glucose and fructose. Now wait. You. It will smell like foul eggs because sulfuric acid is decomposed while this reaction to sulfur dioxide. So perform this outside. Wait. After a few minutes it will start to get really hot. That the water evaporates and this happens now. You see it's fuming, the whole thing is building a big column of carbon, the fume contains water, vapor and sulfur dioxide and it smells a little bit um, like toffees from, the, from the, sh the sugar which is burnt. It's growing faster and faster. And hopefully it will, yes, it get out of the beaker. So the fume isn't healthy, so don't breathe it. So here you see column of carbon. So to clean the beaker, it is really messy. This is big trouble after this, exp after this experiment because the whole beaker is dirty from the carbon is left. This is pure elemental carbon okay with contaminants of sulfuric acid and sugar and a little bit of water but this is very pure carbon a column of carbon. You see it's fuming from the, from the water which is evaporating because it's very hot it gets over the over 100 degrees so let me show you from the top this is a column of carbon from the top the fumes are irritant for the respiratory ways so and a little bit a little bit toxic so don't breath it it grows a oh the reaction goes more and more you see the water here which is condensing and re-evaporating a relatively rapid reaction violent and the same thing 
will happen with your hands so don't try this without gloves and protecting goggles so th thanks for watching please subscribe rate and comment